Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Stop the Plank by Ravensburger. This is for ages 5 and up. 2 to 4 players takes about 15 minutes to play. So this is a push your luck game where we are elephant sailors or pirates on a ship. The box, the back side of the box is the ship. This is why you have this sleeve here to protect it. So this would be slide over it. And there's magnets here underneath the packaging. So you put a plank here, and you can see that there's a little magnet right here as well. You can see it raised up. And each player picks a color, so I'm going to be red. And you'll see that this is a spot where your elephant will stand. Mm -hmm. And this is a spot where we will be stacking crate tokens. Now it's a push your luck game, it's because we're going to reveal cards with objects. If you manage to lay down six cards without repeating an object, you win the game. At any time though, you can stop and the other players in the game will be placing crates at the end of the plank. If you bust, your elephant moves forward one space. So we're just going to start playing right away. I will go first. Now I could stop here, but Julie won't be placing any crates uh, on her plank. Okay, so I busted already. So I go forward like this. So uh, in case I didn't mention this, if you do get all six cards without repeating it to the end here, repeating an object, you win. If another player's elephant falls off the plank, you win, and so do, so do all the other players. So if you're playing with a four-player game, one player falls off the plank, all the other players win. Now they do that because it's a player elimination. They don't want to deal with player elimination where the other children are sitting around bored. Now, we would try playing it where <coughs> only one elephant's left, mm -hmm. but I think they were worried about that rule in case uh, children would get bored waiting. Now if Julie stops here, I would have to add a crate. Oh, darn okay, it, so I should Julie have stopped. busted as well. So here I go. Oops. I saw the next one. I was going to go anyway. All right, I will stop there so Julie has to add two crates. Now, if I would have kept on going, maybe I could have won, but I'm not. Now, notice the players add their crates because you could have somebody be a jerk and go like that and add it. Yeah, that's not nice. Okay, if you let, that's why it's in the rules. Players add their own crates. So that way they're responsible if it gets knocked off. Oh, darn it. So you bust it again? Yes. So you Shoot. move your... And this is physics here. As the closer you go down, the more weight's going to be on the, ramp, uh, the plank. I'm going to go one more. Okay, now Julie has to have oh, three. I'll stop gosh. right there. One, two, three. Okay, now Julie's going to go. She busted again. It's not good for me. It's good for me. I've already beaten him twice at this, so I'm not upset if I lose. <laughs> okay, I will stop. You can add two crates. Mm. <gasps> and that's it. <laughs> now you can play multiple games, of course. Uh, now, if there, were, and by the rules, only one player needs to fall off the plank. If there was two or three players playing besides me. We would all win and share in the victory. But like I said, we would try it where you keep on playing until there's one elephant pirate left. So that's how you play Stomp the Plank. So Check cute. out our review. We'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.